how do I measure what I've captured in an image? On the screen, you'll see that I'm looking at some cells of an onion root tip uh, via microscope. I have a digital microscope connected to my computer with SparkView open, and I've already captured this image of the cells. Now, if I wanted to make a measurement of the length or width of one of these cells, what I first need is a reference. So I also captured an image of a micrometer slide to be able to give me that standard of what the width of my image is. So using the micrometer slide, I determined that the width of the screen within SparkView is 0 0.17 millimeters, or it's usually micrometers that we want when we're looking at microscope images. So that would be 170 micrometers. So once I've determined that reference with the image that I've captured of the cells, what I can do is open up my tools by going to the lower left and clicking on the ruler for measurement. And then I can click on the ruler again to make sure that it's active. And then really I can click anywhere on the screen and then I can adjust that line that I'm dragging across. So I want to make sure that it's a nice level line. I can drag the points by clicking within the arrows and making sure those go right to the edge. Now, I know it's difficult to see on the screen there, but right now my measurement is given in PX or pixels. But remember, I want to change that to millimeters or micrometers. So I can click on the end of one of the arrows and it will bring up my measurement properties window. So I'm going to change the 638 pixels to now be what I determined from the micrometer slide, which was 170 micrometers. And I can use the symbol button to bring up a keyboard to get micrometers. I can use my regular keyboard for the M. And I can click OK. So now I've set that the width of this image is 170 micrometers and then I can grab the ends of those arrows and I can adjust those to other points on the screen. So for example, maybe I want the height or length of this onion cell and when it goes to that new measurement, it keeps it in the units of micrometers. So this is a cell of 29.84 micrometers in length. So students can continue to add measurements to their diagrams to compare, say, the length of cells that are actively dividing to the length of cells away from the root tip that are not dividing.